Here I've got a group of four Enjoy TR60 transistor radio kits from 1976 or so. Um, I originally picked up these two here um, maybe three, four years ago. Neither one of those is complete, so I just kind of packed them away. I recently got a really good deal on these two kits. Uh, both of which are in much better shape. So what I think I'm going to do is build one of them, keep another one unbuilt, and then sell the remainder. I guess I'll start off by showing you guys uh, the best one first. I think that's this one. So here's the most uh, complete and original kit. I believe it is 100% complete actually. Here's the construction manual. I'm not going to dig into that right now. And there's the kit. All neatly uh, wrapped up still. Probably should have busted out my tripod for this, but. Oh well. There's the battery tube. Here's the radio itself, or the case for it, rather. Not the most exciting design, but it certainly is a nice loud color. It's very 1970s. There's all the parts still uh, taped to the inside. It looks like that was handwritten and then photocopied. See that some of the parts are already mounted. The other ones are like that as well. It's not that someone uh, partially built this kit or anything. Probably going to end up being a pretty typical six transistor radio. See the two output transistors there and the input and output transformers. Interesting that they didn't go with a transformerless design in, you know, such a late production kit. I might build this kit uh, on video. I haven't decided yet. Seems to have a fairly detailed manual. There's the schematic. So yeah, it's a pretty typical design. Converter transistor, first and second IF, driver, audio output. The circuit design is not really any different than uh, sets that were getting built in the 1950s. It's a pretty classic design. 
The only thing you didn't always see back then was this die out here, which is for biasing of the output stage. Looks like they're giving some steps on uh, testing the partially assembled radio. And there's a date there, 1976 Comspace Corporation. Although I don't see it marked anywhere, I would guess that most of these things were made in uh, Hong Kong, with these parts that is. Here's the other one I picked up recently. This one also looks uh, pretty complete. It's got the same date on the back of the manual. For some reason all the text is blocked out on this one. And I don't know if this is original. It's definitely not ideal. It's just a cut piece of pipe for the battery holder. Oh, something's loose in there. You can see that this one's uh, kind of an interesting blue color, somewhat translucent. All the other ones I have are orange, so this one's different. Speaking of different, the uh, back cover isn't quite the same color as the front. And it looks like the audio transformers got loose. A little hole in the speaker there, not too bad. But yeah, you can see it's uh, translucent, as is the back. I've read that these uh, plastic encapsulated transistors aren't as reliable uh, as you know the earlier metal cased ones. So I'm gonna I'm gonna test them and make sure that I've got a full set of good ones before you know soldering them down on the one that I do assemble. Uh, I've got a set that's basically only good for parts. So anything I need to swap, I'm gonna swap with that set. And I've got uh, you know, plenty of new electrolytic capacitors. I'm not going to use these old 70s ones. They're uh, pretty much junk by now, you know? That's not going to stay. Alright, quickly, here's the last two. I think this is the worst one of the bunch. Yeah, this is the one that's got a big hole in it. And it's missing some stuff. You can see that one of the uh, transformers is missing. But if any of the other components are, are bad on one of the other sets, I can pull them off of this. I'll probably bundle this with the one that I'm selling. I'll have to think about it. Depends if I think I'm going to need these parts or not. But either way, this one's, I guess, not worth too much. All the packaging is missing, too. Alright, here's the last one of these. I had grabbed the wrong one by mistake. You can see it's missing its original packaging. It's got some other crap in there instead. It does still have the manual though. Let's see what's inside. Here's the inside of that last kit. It's still got its original battery tube. Got a little squashed, but still usable. It says Sonic on there. Interesting.
install them dash one or equivalent batteries this way. I don't know why they didn't just say D cells, that's what they're called in the US. Little parts package there's a little torn up on this one. I don't know if it's all there. All the important stuff is there though. The transistors, transformers. I mean resistors and capacitors aren't that hard to replace. Doesn't look like anyone's worked on this one at all. And all the trim is there. So this is definitely another buildable one. I think I'm actually going to build this one because the original packaging for this guy isn't complete anyway. But it looks like all the parts are there. I of course want to build one that's got a good cabinet, and it looks like looks like the cabinet in this guy is A-OK. -okay. So the fact that the packing materials are kind of torn up doesn't really matter. So if I do decide to build one, it's probably going to be this one. Thanks for watching. That's all for now.